Thanks for logging on to CBSColorado.com. Time now for a few more minutes with defenseman from your Colorado Avalanche, Bo Byram. And Bo, we're looking at the West. It's crazy right now. But for you guys, I mean, last year you won all four series on the road. Do you care about playoff seating? Is it as simple as just get in and then make a run? Uh, I mean, that's definitely part of it. I think um, once you get in, anything can happen. But it's definitely nice to um, have the home ice advantage, especially uh, here in Denver. You know, our fans are so awesome. So um, it's it's preferably or preferable to have the, the home ice advantage. But at the end of the day, if you're in, you're in. And that's your chance. So you got to take advantage of it. I guess if anything you can take from last year, though, you have that confidence. Again, you clinch all four on the road. That if you don't get that, that great CD, do you guys feel like you can win anywhere? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think our team this year has a has a lot of confidence. You know, um, we haven't had the kind of um, success, as successful as a year to date uh, as last year, but we're still really confident and and we think whoever we play in the first round, um, we can give them a good run. So, um, like you said, it's just it's just getting in and hopefully we can have home ice advantage. And if not, um, we'll do our best uh, to to win games on the road. Obviously, every year teams are a little bit different. Every year, diff different guys coming in and out. For you, what do you think is the biggest difference, good or bad, between last year's team and this year's? Um, I think the, one of the biggest things, which is really unfortunate, is uh, missing missing Gabe all year. Yeah. Um, obviously, him being our captain, and everyone knows how how good of a player he is. To to miss him for as long as we have is has been really tough. Um, I think. A lot of guys have done a good job of kind of filling in, filling in the void. But at the end of the day, um, he's kind of a, a unicorn in the league. You're, you're not going to be able to replace him. So, um, you know, hopefully he can uh, get better and, and, and get back out there with us as soon as possible. I feel like this ans this question might have a, a lot of answers, but you talk about Gabe. I mean, what would that mean to get Landy back? Yeah, uh, I think it'd just be a huge shot in the arm, obviously. Um, He's 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 got a lot of skill, but he also plays plays so hard too. You know, he's physical. Um, he tracks hard. He's he goes to the net hard. So it just kind of adds a different dynamic to our team, um, and obviously a lot a lot more depth. So um, he, yeah, like I said, I can't say enough good things about him. Um, in the dressing room, he's great. Uh, you know, he kind of kind of controls the 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 mood in there. So um, we definitely miss him. Captain, my captain, we hope, certainly hope to have him back. As you look at this kind of final stretch almost of the season, what are your guys' focus, the biggest things that you just kind of want to get done before the playoffs? Uh, I think the one thing that we, you really have to have in order going into the playoffs is just your defensive habits. Um, we've talked about it a lot lately. Uh, obviously, just, just dropping two games in a row is, is not what you want to do, but um, you learn from it, and uh, that's, that's the biggest thing for our team, I think, is, you know, uh, hopefully the, the offense um, keeps coming. We seem to be able to find ways to score goals. So, uh, you know, Nate and Miko um, have, have been great this year, and there's been a lot of guys chipping in. So, um, But like I said, the biggest thing for our team is, is just keeping the puck out of our net. Uh, I, I obviously can't let you go without talking about Kale McCarr. You ever get talk, tired of talking about Kale? <laughs> no, never. <laughs> uh, Kale, I mean, last night, I think a little hard on himself. He said, every time I come back in, we lose. Um, I, you know. <laughs> that's, just, that's just an off trend, but I mean, what have you learned about your game from from Kale and being teammates with Kale? Yeah, uh, I mean, obviously, I'm really lucky to be able to watch Kale every day. Uh, he's he's a special player, um, one of the best defensemen to ever do it. So, uh, I think he plays with such confidence, and um, he skates so well. So, there's there's so many things I can I can look at and um, you know try to try to model myself towards him, but. That's uh, that's that's pretty tough. So, try to learn little things from him here and there, um, and and we talk often, but uh, it's it's pretty hard to match what he does on the ice. Well, how lucky are we to watch Kale McCarr, Bo Byram on these abs, and such a fun team to root for. You know, a, a lot of times there's just teams that you love rooting for because of the guys. You guys, are such great guys in the community, and just fans get that vibe a lot. They always say that to me. Like this team is just a team you want to root for. As a guy in the dressing room, what's the best thing about this team? Um, pretty similar to that. I, I think we're uh, a pretty close-knit team. Obviously, um, a lot of guys are still here from, from winning it last year, which, which helps with that. But uh, all the new guys that have come in, 
um, you know, have just kind of molded right in with us. So it's a lot of fun going to the rink every day, and I think that's why you have success um, when you when you have a smile on your on your face and you're having fun. Um, usually, good results follow. The last one I got for you, Bo. I mean, you know what it takes now to win a cup to go through that tough two-month grind of the playoffs. Is there another gear? I mean, that you guys hit when you get to the playoffs now that you now that you've been there. Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, but it, it doesn't really just turn on and off, you know. You gotta you gotta build up to it, like I was talking about. So um, in the playoffs, there's no room for errors. Uh, that's why we won last year's because we 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 played so tight and hard. So. Um, you know, this year it's it's going to have to be the same thing if we want to repeat. Well, it's certainly going to be a fun playoff run. Hopefully we got another parade coming up in June. Bo Byram, uh, we are lucky enough to have him as our guest tonight. Bo, thank you so much for joining yes, us. Yes, thanks for having me.